Today is the last day before Thanksgiving break. Last night, President Obama took steps to protect up to 5 million unauthorized immigrants from deportation. I'm Carla Correa. And I'm Hannah Barr. In the 80s, he was the father all Americans wanted, but now his career appears is over. Your CSN News starts now. President Obama asserted the powers of the Oval Office to change the nation's immigration system and issued a veiled challenge to the members of next year's Republican-controlled Congress to reverse his actions on behalf of millions of immigrants. In a 15-minute address that sought to appeal to a nation's compassion, Mr. Obama told Americans that deporting millions is not who we are. His directive will shield up to 5 million people from deportation and allow many to work legally, although it offers no pathway to citizenship. Bill Cosby's dazzling decades-long career as one of America's most beloved entertainers began crumbling this week amid a succession of allegations Cosby was a serial sexual predator. On Wednesday, NBC joined the list of entertainment companies and TV programs that have abandoned projects or distanced themselves from the 77-year-old comedian and actor. NBC ended development of an upcoming TV sitcom starring Cosby one day after Netflix backed away from a special that would have saluted, saluted Cosby for his long career in comic gifts. Also on Wednesday, the TV Land channel said it would stop airing reruns of The Cosby Show. It's tiny, it's green, it glows, and it's got a killer bite. A wildlife photographer teamed up with an entomologist and others to investigate a predatory glowworm found in the Amazon. According to the Rainforest Expeditions blog, the glowing beetle larva was discovered a couple of years ago in a dirt wall in Peru. Researchers from the University of Florida have discovered the glowworm's bright glowing light is meant to lure their prey in, mostly other insects, and use their powerful jaws to bite down. Scientists are still not quite sure what the species of bug the glowworms will grow up to be. We'll be right back after these messages. It's the most wonderful time of the year. The holidays are coming up, but not everyone has enough. Everyone can help this holiday season through Nampa High's annual food drive, which runs November 18th through December 15th. Bring your cans to the cafeteria with your grade number written on top, or bring them to your English teacher. Our record is 21,393 food items. Can we beat the record? Can you beat the sophomores? Bring your non-perishable food items in November 18th through December 15th to your English teacher or to the cafeteria. Anything can help this holiday season. Today's weather is brought to you by Dr. Kim Keller. Your smile is your first impression. Make it a good one and visit Dr. Keller today. Today's high is 36 with a low of 33 and freezing rain overnight. Tomorrow's high is 45 and a low of 27. Applications for National Technical Honor Society are due to Ms. Stanton today. The full application includes the purple application, two teacher recommendations, and $30 enrollment free fee. The Social Dance Program announces its winter ball in the Columbia High Cafeteria this Friday from 7 to 10 p.m. It should be a night of well-mannered frivolity. Nampa School District staff with their ID cards get in for free along with one guest. Others are charged $7 at the door. Come and waltz your way around the floor too and watch our dance students. The Salvation Army Angel Tree is now set up in the library. Individuals and groups are encouraged to share the magic of Christmas with a needy child by providing a toy. Select a tag from the tree and bring your unwrapped gift back to the library. Auditions for the school spring play, The Curious Savage, will be held Tuesday, December 2nd at 3 o'clock in the Little Theater. Please come prepared with one minute dramatic monologue. One more thing, the lost and found car is in the cafeteria during lunches until Thanksgiving. If you've lost anything, please, please feel free to claim it if you see it, but remember to leave the hangers, please. Today's SAT word of the day is diverse, an adjective that means of many various kinds, composed of many distinct qualities, unlike. You could use it in this way. At the multi-ethnic food show, local restaurants presented a diverse array of dishes from around the world. That's your news. We'll see you next time right here on the Bulldog Edition. <laughs>